Hello? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go on that mock up? All right. Okay. So how soon do you guys need that? Four hours? Oh, uh, all right. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Oh boy. Uh, all right. You guys didn't see that. Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan DeJesus here, and today we're gonna be talking about how we made that really cool video where we grabbed the shoe mock-up from the screen. Now, this is all done with a simple editing trick, and this is something that we've been doing for a long time. We really gained interest in video as a whole from this creator, Zach King, who is well known for his editing tricks. And this is something that we applied to some of our Instagram videos before we ever even made our way onto YouTube. And as part of our recent eBay collab, we were actually required to make a couple different custom sneaker TikToks, and this is where we wanted to apply some of those cool editing tricks. And with the introduction of Reels to Instagram, this is a great way for you to potentially gain some traction on Instagram or TikTok, really switching up your content and bringing videos to life. So before diving into the video, you wanna have a little bit of an idea beforehand on sort of where you're gonna take the overall concept. We decided to have a fake phone call with a client who says that they need the shoe in a rush. And what we want to happen, after we grab the shoe from the screen, we also want that mock-up to disappear. So we have a cutout of just the background so that once we pull the shoe right off of there, the mock-up disappears also. Another thing that you wanna make sure lines up also is the size of the shoe with the actual cutout. So if we have this, a whole lot tinier in Photoshop, it's not gonna look as good when we try to pull it off the screen. So you wanna actually make sure beforehand that the size of your shoe actually lines up with your mock-up. Another example of bringing this trick to life is with a paper sketch where you actually try to punch out the shoe from the sketch and then you have a direct cutout of the shoe from that same piece of paper. And now we're gonna show you a dry run on how we went through this entire process. Now this is definitely a two person job, mainly because you need to stay perfectly still when you're trying to bring that magic trick to life. So first off, I'm having Jason call my phone pretending that he's a client who I just sent a mock-up to. Then you have to tell the client, okay, sure, no problem, hang up the phone and look very confused on how you're gonna pull this off. Now it's time for us to actually grab the shoe. We want this entire movement to be really fast. We wanna move our hand as fast as possible. We want everything to start really quick and end really quick. This way there's as little room as possible for anybody to catch the actual cut. Now I'm trying to stay as perfectly still as humanly possible. As you can see here, Jason is now going to enter the frame and I'm only going to move my hand enough in order to fit the shoe directly behind it. Jason is then going to turn off the main layer on the screen where we have the mock-up and reveal the cutout underneath. Here's what can happen if you move even just a little bit, that cut is no longer going to line up and the magic trick is completely lost. Make sure that the person helping you isn't moving anything in the background. You don't want anything to move around your desk, any little knickknacks that you might have nearby. You really wanna make sure that everything stays nice and still. Now for removing the shoe from the screen, I want the action of my hand movement to again, be as fast as possible so it looks like we're actually snatching the shoe right off the screen. Now we have one final action of showing the shoe off to the camera just to really sell the illusion that we brought everything to life. And that's a wrap on all of our footage and we're ready to hop into the edit. I wanna start off by saying that you can use any video editing software that you prefer as long as it allows you to cut. That's all you need for this trick. So now that we have our footage in Premiere, all I'm gonna do is look for my in and out points. I could see that right here is where Dylan's phone starts to ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a cut there. And then I also see that right around this is where the video ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a cut there and just move this uh, move this footage to the side. And now within our smaller clip, we're also gonna look for two more in and out points. So right here, I'm looking for the moment where Dylan's hand is still in motion, but almost comes to a complete stop. So it looks like right here is that point. And then my second point is gonna be where I'm out the screen and Dylan starts to flex his hand as if he's clutching it and ready to pull back. And so that'll be around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another cut there, delete this, move these together. And if everything turns out well, we should have our final clip. Oh boy. Uh, all right, make sure you guys don't tell anybody about that little trick. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. I'm gonna go ahead and play the cut one more time. And as you guys can see, it's literally just one cut. It's that simple. I just found two in and out points where Dylan would make that pause and then would make that action again to grab the shoe and bring it to life. 
Now we did this pretty quickly, but as you can tell, Dylan still remains pretty still as I jump back and forth from different clips, but you would want to make sure for your sake that your subject stays as still as perfectly possible. At first, this might seem like a complicated camera trick, but all honestly, it is just a cut and we wanted to show how simple it really can be for the everyday person. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys later. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so you guys are good with that mock-up? Awesome, yeah. So tell me this now, how soon do you guys need this? Four hours? No, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, sounds good. Yep, I'll see you then, bye-bye. Oh boy, uh... Go. <sighs> All right, make sure you guys don't tell anybody about that little trick. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so you guys are good with that mock-up? Awesome, yeah. So tell me this now, how soon do you guys need this? Four hours? No, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, sounds good. Yep, I'll see you then, bye-bye. Oh boy, uh... <sighs> All right, make sure you guys don't tell anybody about that little trick. All right guys, this is something that we definitely wanna challenge you to do. Step outside of your comfort zone and start playing around with cool videos like this. They definitely have a lot of growth potential across the different platforms. This is something that people can rewatch, share, and it definitely has that viral potential, which is of course great for you and your business. We would love to see some of the cool iterations of this trick that you guys are able to come up with. Be sure to let us know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this. This is something really cool and maybe a little bit outside of our norm that we really enjoyed making. So we would love to know if you guys feel the same. Go ahead, give the video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys in that next video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching another one of our videos. I really think that a video like this has a lot of potential for something like Instagram Reels. If you head to your Explore page, typically Reels are gonna be taking up a lot of real estate. Not everybody's using the feature, so give it a try, guys. Get out there and just create.